Hello everyone. So the topic that we are going to tackle this morning in quarter 4 module 2 which is called antiderivatives of trigonometric functions. Learning competency. The learner computes the antiderivative of polynomial, radical, exponential, and trigonometric functions. We have here the objective. Compute the antiderivative of trigonometric functions. Theorems on antiderivatives of trigonometric functions. First, the integral of sine x dx is equal to negative cosine x plus c. Letter B, the integral of cosine x dx is equal to sine x plus c. Letter C, the integral of second squared x dx is equal to tangent x plus c. Letter D, the integral of cos second squared x dx is equal to negative cotangent x plus c. Letter E, the integral of second x tangent x dx is equal to second x plus c. And the last one, the integral of cos second x cotangent x dx is equal to negative cos second x plus c. We have here an example. Determine the derivative of the following. Number one, the integral of the quantity of cos sine x minus sine x dx. We have here the solution. From the integral of cos sine x minus sine x dx, remember that there are two terms. We are going to integrate that one one by one. So we have here the integral of cos sine x dx minus the integral of sine x dx. And remember that the value of cos sine x dx in our theorem, that is sine x minus the value of the integral of sine x dx is negative cos sine x plus 1. When we are going to simplify that one, that is sine x negative multiplied by negative cos sine x, the result is positive cos sine x. So therefore, the value now of the integral of the quantity of cos sine x minus sine x dx is equal to sine x plus cos sine x plus c. Another example the integral of cotangent squared x dx. Okay, first thing to do, we are going to find the value of cotangent squared x dx from our, our Pythagorean identities. From the Pythagorean identities that the cotangent squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta minus 1. So meaning to say that the cosecant squared theta minus 1 is substituted to the value of cotangent squared x dx. Okay, so we have here the integral of cotangent squared x dx is equal to the integral of the quantity of cosecant squared x minus 1 dx. Remember that there are two terms, so meaning we are going to integrate one by one. So we have here the integral of cosecant squared x dx minus the integral of dx. Remember that when we see integral of dx, understood that there is a numerical coefficient of 1. So the value of the integral of cosecant squared x dx from our theorem, we have negative cotangent squared minus the integral of dx is x plus c. So therefore, the value now is negative cotangent squared minus x plus c. Another example, the integral of tangent squared v dv. Okay, so from the Pythagorean identities, that the tangent squared theta is equal to second squared theta minus 1. So from the tangent squared v is equal to second squared v minus 1. Okay, so we are going to substitute the value of tangent squared v dv using the Pythagorean identities. That is the integral of second squared v minus 1 dv. Then we are going to integrate each of the terms since there are two terms. So the integral of second squared v dv minus the integral of 1 dv. 
And remember that the value of the integral of second squared v dv in our theorem, that is tangent v minus the integral of 1 dv is v plus c. So therefore, the value of the tangent squared v dv is equal to tangent v minus v plus c. Another example, the integral of sine x over cosine squared x dx. We have here the solution. From the integral of sine x over cosine squared x dx, when we are going to factor, the result is the integral of sine x over cosine x multiplied by 1 over cosine x dx. And remember that sine x over cosine x in a way quotient identities that is tangent x and the value of 1 over cosine x in our reciprocal identities that is second x multiplied by dx so we have here that the value of tangent x second x dx in our theorem that is second x plus c much more direction Evaluate the following integrals. Okay, so number one, the integral of 7 cosecant squared x dx. Number two, the integral of 2 second x tangent x dx. Number three, the integral of quantity 1 plus tangent squared x dx. And the fourth one, the integral of 1 or the quantity of 1 plus cotangent squared x dx. You are going to solve that one that is the exercises. Okay, thank you for listening and do not forget to click the bell icon to subscribe my channel.